The next topic we're going to talk about, Mitch Trubisky. Where'd he come from? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw that game against the Detroit Lions, but Mitchell Trubisky looked like a franchise quarterback in that game. Oh, I know, I know. Let me let me slow down a bit. Let me not get there just yet. But I want to raise up the question. Do you believe that Mitch Trubisky is finally, after just watching one game, I know it's a little bit early, but after one game, is Mitch Trubisky finally that answer? for the franchise quarterback, for the Chicago Bears. I mean, they brought in Nick Foles in the offseason to maybe give Trubisky a little bit of push, potentially, if Trubisky just continues the trend of not doing as well, Foles were to come in. But maybe that created a chip on his shoulder, and he wanted to prove people wrong. This past week against the Detroit Lions, 242 yards, Three passing touchdowns, uh, 55.6% completed. But hey, 104.2 passer rating. And on top of that, he had a long and beautiful 20-yard run. People underrate his ability to run with the football. So Trubisky, if we're talking about Russell Wilson being on pace for 64 touchdowns for the season, Mitchell Trubisky currently is on pace for 48 passing touchdowns. For the 2020 NFL season. Hey, I mean, stats don't lie. Stats don't lie. Probably won't happen. But that game against the Detroit Lions kind of surprised me. Because the Bears were to come. They came back. Under a uh, being a, in a deficit against the Detroit Lions. Trubisky led the charge. Led the team. And helped the Chicago Bears pick up that victory. Maybe it's the addition of Jimmy Graham. I know that he had one touchdown in the in the end zone, and then there was another one that was called back. Maybe that helped out a lot. Maybe it's the improvement of David Montgomery and them trying to run with him more, And even though they didn't really do much with that run game. But I don't know what it is, but Trubisky is, it seems like as of right now, he has a stronghold on that starting job, and Nick Foles isn't coming in anytime soon. Unless in week two against the New York Giants, he absolutely fails and he flops, which we kind of don't predict happening because it's the New York Giants and the secondary is not that uh, one of the elite secondaries in the NFL. But he definitely does have a stronghold on that starting job. And this could be a new and improved Mitchell Trubisky in that Bears offense. What's funny is that no matter how good and how well he performs, he will always have that label of being in the same draft class with Patrick Mahomes and being drafted higher than him as well. And the general manager of the Chicago Bears will always be under fire for taking Mitchell Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes. And the only way to get out of that shadow, to break it, and to eliminate it, is asking for a lot, is to win a Super Bowl. But maybe that is that chip on the shoulder for Mitchell Trubisky, knowing that he was drafted with Patrick Mahomes, knowing the amount of fire that he's been under, knowing that his starting job is in jeopardy and he could be gone out of Chicago after this year. But as of right now, if that game against Detroit told us anything, is that Trubisky has caught our attention. We're not going to go ahead and label him as a pro bowler. We're not going to go ahead and label him as the next Patrick Mahomes in that draft class. But instead, it's caught our attention enough to let us sit back, let us watch, and at least give him a little bit more grace and a little bit more time to show us what exactly he is made of. So Biscuit, in 2020, will this be your season with the Chicago Bears and will you finally Earn that long-term contract extension with the Chicago Bears and lead the Bears, dare I say, to the Super Bowl down the road. We're definitely going to have to see, but Mitchell, Mitchell Trubisky had a great week one.